Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ACS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. On today's video, we are taking a look at the Jordan 5 Alternate Grapes. But before I get into that, I just want to say a huge thank you to my friends over at The Shoe Hero for sending me the Elite Sneaker and Hat Cleaner. And I will be bringing you a full review and tutorial on how to get the most out of this product. Now to celebrate 300 subscribers, I am going to be giving one lucky winner the chance to win this absolutely free. So head over to ACS Sneakers, get yourself involved in the giveaway, and a huge thank you once again for all of your support. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. Now, as is customary on my channel, we would normally be going through the sneakers history. However, I've already covered the history of the Jordan 5 model on my previous review of the Jordan 5 Top 3. I will leave a link above if you do want to go ahead and check out my review. So instead of that, let's go ahead and get straight into the unboxing. Originally retailing on July 7th for a retail price of £165, the Air Jordan 5 Alternate Grape is the third Jordan 5 release of 2020, following on from the release of the Jordan 5 Fire Red and the Jordan 5 Top 3. If we take a quick look at the label on the box, which reads Air Jordan 5 Retro in the Grape Ice New Emerald Black colorway. And here we go guys, I now have the Jordan 5 Alternate Grape in hand, so let's get straight into my review. Starting out with the toe box area, which has been crafted from a super soft premium suede material. Now you can actually see in person how premium this material actually is. It looks great, it feels great, and it smells great as well. As soon as you do pull these out of the box, you can actually see right away how premium the suede is on this shoe. And I, for one, am super impressed with the materials used. And if we then move up the upper of the shoe itself, we continue to see that premium suede material. Now, I've already covered how premium this material is, but once again, I'm a huge fan of this material, and I think they've done a fantastic job crafting the upper of this shoe. If we look at both the medial, and lateral sides of the shoe, we can see the usual mesh panelling on both sides. And if we now take a quick look at the midsole of the shoe, we have a primarily black midsole with a turquoise shark teeth with a hit of black speckled paint for a colour contrast. Towards the back, we have the translucent air unit. If we then take a look at the outsole of the shoe, we have a primarily translucent outsole with the hit of black and the Jumpman just underfoot, with the Jordan branding in the centre. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Let's get back into it. And if we then take a quick look at the laces on the shoe, which are completely black. Underneath this, we have the same meshing that we saw on both the lateral and medial panels. Above this, we have the usual Jordan 5 lace lock. And taking a look now at the tongue of the shoe, which is crafted from a 3M material and has a matte finish. In the center, we can see the turquoise embroidered Jumpman. Now, I've always been a major fan of the tongue on the Jordan 5 model, especially when it does feature that 3M material. On the reverse of the tongue, we have the usual Air Jordan branding upside down. And taking a quick look now at the sock liner of the shoe, this is a felt type of material which is extremely soft underhand and is in a charcoal colorway. This is extremely soft underhand and as I've covered on previous Jordan 5 reviews, I'm a big fan of the ankle collar on this model. It is extremely soft and plush underhand and does offer a lot of ankle protection and support. I've always liked that about the Jordan 5 model, and I think I always will. It definitely is an extremely comfortable shoe when on feet. If we then take a look at the insole of the shoe, we have a turquoise insole with the black Jumpman to finish. And to finish taking a look at the heel of the shoe, we have the Jumpman branding. Now, I for one do prefer it on the Jordan 5 model when it does feature the Nike Air branding like we saw on the previous reviews of the Jordan 5 Top 3 and the Jordan 5 Fire Red. I definitely feel that it has that more retro vibe and looks a lot better on feet. But that being said, there is so much about this shoe that I do like, I can almost let it go that they haven't included the Nike Air branding on the heel of the shoe. And that pretty much covers the overview of the shoe itself. So now let's go ahead and get into my opinions on the shoe. 
And now moving on to the most important aspect of any sneaker, which is the sneaker's comfortability. I do believe that the Jordan 5 alternate grip is extremely comfortable right out the box and doesn't require any breaking in time. And I must say, having had this shoe on feet, I was extremely impressed with how it looked and I didn't want to take off the shoe when I first had it on feet for the very first time. And now in terms of the shoe's durability, I do believe that the shoe is going to hold up very well and is going to be a very durable shoe. But in order to keep your shoe looking at its very best, I would recommend before wearing for the very first time that you do use a suede protector to limit any damage or dirt to the upper of your shoe. I would also recommend a soft bristle brush, something like this, just to be able to brush out any of the dirt that is going to collect on the suede materials. Now this is actually a brush that I got out of my Shoe Hero cleaning kit and you do get these with any of your orders for the Shoe Hero. It's extremely soft and will do very well at keeping on top of your suede material. And in terms of sizing, I would recommend that you do go true to size. That will be the best reflection on you personally. However, if you do have the opportunity to try out the shoe before buying, I would always recommend that you do so just so you can understand the best fit for you. And now in terms of my overall rating on the shoe itself, I do give the Jordan 5 Alternate Grip a solid 9 out of 10. It is a fantastic shoe in my opinion. I'm really impressed by the materials used and I definitely feel this is one for the summer collection. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and let's go ahead and take a closer look at the shoe itself. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point in the video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hitting that bell notification, and I hope to see you again in the next one.